Okay, guys. So we have the shear force and bending moment experiment. We study in theory class what is shear force, what is bending moment, how to find shear force and bending moment, and how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. We are doing the same thing but experimentally. For that, we have this apparatus. In the apparatus, what we have, we have this long beam from here to here. This beam is divided into two sections with this section line. You remember in theory class, I told you that if we cut the beam into section and then we see that section, that section will experience the shear force and bending moment. Usually the whole beam experience, but we are finding for this section only. Now as per the manual, how we are doing the experiment, we are having the load hanger here, three load hanger, right? And we have this beam. We have this spring balance which measure the shear force and we have this spring balance which measure the bending moment. Now in the manual it has been told to you to arrange the beam with 900 millimeter length from this support to this support. So first of all we have to arrange this 900 millimeter I have to measure with tape and from this support from here I have to look into this one to the another support and see if it is 900 millimeter or not. So it is 900 millimeter. So it means the length of the beam is okay. Then in the manual it has been told to you that arrange the weights in such a way that from this side the first weight is 100 millimeter away, the second one is 300 millimeter away, the third one is 600 millimeter away. So with the tape we have to see whether the load hanger are at that position or not. So if we see the first one it is not in 100 but now it is exactly you see at 10 so it means it is at 100 millimeter right the third the, the second one at 300 it it is almost on the the, the specimen this this place so it is 330 you see so it means it is at 300 300 millimeter this one at 60 so we have to keep it at 60 now all the load hanger are at the position now before starting the experiment, we have to make sure with spirit level that the beam is stable. How you see here, now the, the beam is not stable. This bubble is on the left side, left side of me, maybe if you are looking so to the right side. We have to bring it to the center to level the beam. How we can level? From the shear uh, winding moment spring balance, we have this knob, we rotate this knob and we will see that the bubble is moving, right? We have to rotate to the other side. So to make it balance and properly align the two sections, right? Why we are doing it? We have two sections here. So the both the sections are aligned like this. Now it is in the center. At this point, what we have to do, we don't have any load on it. But your manual says to record the, the values as per the table. The table is we have three uh, load. So this is load one, load two, load three. It says load is zero, zero, zero. We have to see the spring balance value. So sometime it is zero, but sometime it is not zero. So we have to record that value at zero load. All the loads are zero. What is the value? Let's say this is some value. It will be in kg, not in force, but then we have to convert it into force. And we have also to record the bending moment spring balance whatever value is here we will write it in the zero zero the second step is to add a load 10 zero zero 10 zero zero means we have to take 10 newton load we put it on the first position and this one is zero this one is zero now once we apply the load to the beam here this section is frictionless so whatever load I am applying on the beam, the beam does not show any internal resistance. Let's suppose this is the beam and this is the section, right? This here is the section. Now if I apply the load from here, what happened? It goes down. So there was no shear force, right? Now I have to balance this like this. So usually when we apply force on the beam, the beam does not go down. And we see, still see that the beam is stable. So it means internally some force was there. Now that internal force I will bring into this. How I will bring? I will tight it again, right? And I will make sure that the bubble is again at the center. Now you see, now when I am tightening it, I am applying some force to the spring balance. 
and it is restoring in the spring. So with this force, again it is stable. So it means whatever force coming from here, the shear force, that was balanced by the internal, the, 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 the forces in this, the, the, the beam. So now we see whatever force is here, that is the shear force. Right? Then we have to do the second experiment. Second set is like we have to remove this load from here. Right? And again we have to see if it is balanced because sometimes it will not be balanced. We have to make it balance again. Every time you repeat the experiment, you have to check this that it is stable. Right? Now it is stable. Fine. Now we have to apply 0, 2, uh, sorry, here we have to apply 10 and here 0. So now I am applying another force. Now you see it even touches the, 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 space, uh, the, the base. So what I will do, I have to, now it is not balanced, I have to balance again. Right? So if I am balancing from here, I will tight. And you will see that that internal resistance which I am applying from here, the, because with this load still the beam will be balanced. So it means there is something internally in the beam which is resisting. And that internally we are providing with the spring now. Right? So we are just measuring. You see? Now. Almost it is, yeah, now it is stable. So now you see in the spring balance we have new value. And similarly, for the bending moment, we have new value. So we have to record this value. And in this way, you have to fill the whole table. Once you fill the whole table, from the shear force, you will just convert it into force. That will give you the shear force value because it is in the cage. For the bending moment, how you find the bending moment? Because moment is the force multiplied by the distance. So here we get the force. Right? We have the kg before. This spring balance is 150 millimeter away from the beam, from the centroid of the beam, right? So this is 150 millimeter away, this is 150 from the centroid of the beam. So every force value and the shear force we have to multiply with 150 millimeter. You have to convert it into meter and to do the proper calculation. So you have no Newton from here, from the, the, the shear force, sorry, the spring balance. You have the distance, which will give you the moment at this section. So this way you have to complete the whole table, right? So most of you have done the experiment. You have to write the lab report, the procedure, the way which I explained to you now, the data which you already have. And if you don't have these students who are here, they will record now, right? And they will have this table and they will share with you in the WhatsApp group or by email. So anyone who don't have the data, they have to email me and I will provide you so but make sure you have the data if you need any photos of course the apparatus photo you need the, these guys will share it in the whatsapp and maybe i will also share somewhere in the moodle i will put all these things right so you will have everything and you have this manual and in the manual you can write the report as per the rubric one some student asked me in the manual there is a question if we increase the load by 50 percent Right? So as the shear force and bending moment increases by 50%, this is your task, you have to do. So now the, the load is let's say 10 here, right? And the shear force we have some value, for bending moment we have some value, increase it by 50% and see if the shear force also increases by 50% or not. This is your task to find. Right? So that's it for the shear force and bending moment experiment.